and welcome to History Pod. On the 16th of August 1819, an estimated 15 people died in the Peterloo Massacre at St Peter's Field in Manchester when a group of over 60,000 protesters were charged by cavalry. The protesters had gathered to hear the radical speaker Henry Hunt demand parliamentary and social reform. Britain was caught in the midst of economic depression, and the textile industry, which was concentrated in the industrial centres of northern England, was particularly badly hit. Factory owners cut wages by as much as two-thirds, which, combined with the increased price of grain due to the corn laws that imposed tariffs on cheaper imports, led to workers facing famine as they could no longer afford to buy food. The workers also lacked political representation. The millions of people who lived in the Lancashire mill towns were represented by just two members of Parliament due to out-of-date constituency boundaries and, due to the limitations of voting rights, they weren't eligible to vote anyway. These inequalities became a target for political reformers, who quickly gained working-class support. Contemporary accounts say that the crowds were peaceful and in good spirits when they assembled on the morning of the 16th of August. However, the chairman of the magistrates was concerned by the enthusiastic reception when Henry Hunt arrived and ordered the local yeomanry to arrest him. Unable to move through the dense crowd, the cavalry began hacking with their sabres. The melee was interpreted by the magistrates as the crowd attacking the yeomanry, and even more cavalry were sent in. The crowd dispersed within ten minutes, but eleven people died on the field. An estimated fifteen people died as a result of the day's events, and approximately seven hundred others were injured. 